we have a new block that's called the if-else block. It's a conditional statement just like the if block that you've used in the puzzles before. But now there's a new part at the bottom that says else. The if-else block lets the bee make a decision between two sets of actions. If the bee is out of flower, the bee will do the set of actions you put in the first part where it says do. If the bee is not at a flower, the bee will do the set of actions you put in the slot where it says else. So if statements are how computers are able to make decisions. Humans set up conditions for the computer that say if the computer is presented with a certain situation, do this. Else, which just means otherwise, do that. The top of our if else block says if at flower. But the top of our block could say other things like if nectar equals two or if there's a path ahead. And our block will behave in the same way, that if the statement on the top is true, it will do the first set of actions. But if the statement on the top is false, it will do the second set of actions.